Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome all of you to the first meeting at uh, 2010 in the Town of Cicero. If you would all please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you please remain standing so we have a moment of silence for the men and women serving in our armed forces at home and overseas. Thank you. You're all going to have to bear with me because obviously I'm a little nervous. Um, if you would all uh, please uh, turn off your cell phones. If not, I'm going to send someone around to collect five bucks from you <laughs> and put it in the canteen fund. Tonight's meeting is the organizational meeting for 2010, and as such, there will be no public input tonight. And our next regular board meeting will, uh, will be a public meeting, and you will all be invited at that time to participate. Um, I'd like to point out uh, where the fire exits are, both of them in the rear and one to the side. And I move that all the actions taken tonight are type two and are enlisted actions and have no negative impact on the environment unless otherwise determined. Second to motion. Mr. Conway. Yes. Mr. Jennings. Yes. Ms. Zimbrano. Yes. Mr. Coral. Yes. Ms. Boyke. Yes. Starting with the uh, attorney for the town, I move to approve Anthony Rivasigno, Gilberti, Stanzano, Hines, and Smith, PC attorney for the town and an annual retainer fee of $70,000. Second. Before we call the roll, I think we should need to uh, have discussion on this particular uh, item, Ms. Supervisor, is that okay? Certainly. Um, in regards to the uh, annual retainer fee of seventy thousand dollars, I uh, do not have a uh, proposed retainer agreement. I don't know if that was pre prepared for you or any of the board members, uh, but I don't have that, and I don't know what the seventy thousand dollars includes. Um, because of the uh, circumstances involved with paperwork, I do have that in my position now, and I would be happy to uh, give it to you. Uh, a copy of it, and I apologize for you not having it this evening. Could we have that before we vote on this particular item? I would rather not because we do need an attorney in place as soon as possible. Um, I think it's before we vote on this particular item, we need to have information relative to what the $70,000 retainer is going to include and whether or not that's all inclusive of all litigation matters, tax certioras. Um, or is it just day-to-day -day activities for uh, the uh, for town type uh, related issues? I'll, I'll be glad to answer that, Mr. Corbett. say, Mr. Rivizigno is here this evening and he would be able to present that. The 70000 represents general Excuse town. me, could you use the microphone? The $70,000 retainer represents general town business. It does not represent litigation, tax certiorari, uh, special district work, or secret, uh, secret work. As you know, that $70,000 is less than half the retainer that was scheduled in the budget last year. Okay. And has there been any discussion or uh, any uh, retainer regarding outside activities and what that might include and what those costs may be? The, uh, the fees for work outside of the retainer would be $190 per hour. That's a blended rate for everybody in the firm. <clears throat> and uh, were, the, were those... Uh, was that information set forth in the retainer agreement you provided to the supervisor? Yes, it is. Okay. Do any other board members have a copy of that retainer or just the supervisor? I have a copy. I have a copy. Vern, do you have a copy? No, I didn't. Neither do I. Um, 
relative to the, relative to the selection of the attorney, was there uh, any formal uh, bid process uh, in regard to selection of this particular attorney? Anybody can answer that. There was no formal bid process as in the past. Uh, the bids were open. It was we were contacted by several, but none presented a proposal except for Mr. Vigil Sterling. Just so everybody knows, um, last Tuesday I had a meeting with the supervisor elect, and I was basically told that uh, Mr. Vivizigno would be appointed. And um, I had no input on, on uh, other firms that were considered. Uh, could you tell me other firms that were particularly considered for this position? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mike McDermott's office was one. Um, we spoke with Terry Kerwin, but because of the uh, intense work within the town, it, he chose not to pursue it. Those are the only ones. Because of the fact that there's very few uh, municipal attorneys, that um, it, under the circumstances with the lack of information or cooperation that I did not receive from anyone, that Mr. Rivazigno was chosen. Was there any uh, proposals or any proposed retainers by the other attorneys that were interested in the position? There were none. Was the um, was there any postings for the town attorney position? There was not. Do you have any more questions, Mr. Carl? Uh, no, I don't. Thank you. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Conway? No. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zambrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? No. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Um, with, with that being said, um, and our next item would be for the engineer for the town, but with that being said, I think the proper pro protocol if we're going to select a new attorney, uh, this will be the first time that a new, a new attorney has been selected since I've been on the board. Even the previous attorney was there when I was on the board. I think if we're going to switch attorneys, which I understand uh, I have no objection to, uh, but if we're going to do that, we should do so in a manner so we get all the information, um, so we find out the best qualified and so that the residents of the town of Cicero are getting um, uh, an open process and various attorneys having an opportunity to bid on the project and then make a consideration after having all the board members have an, an opportunity to interview and look at the potential candidates. Nothing against um, uh, the Gilberti Law Firm uh, as uh, they have a good reputation, uh, but however, I think it needs to be an open process. Um, so therefore, I would make a motion that the town of Cicero seek bids and request for proposals from law firms to provide legal services for the town of Cicero to include day-to-day -day consultation on legal issues and in the bad and matters that come before the town board, attendance at board meetings, handling of standard litigation issues, review of standard contracts, drafting of contracts which may be necessary. Such proposals shall include a retainer and what services will be included along with fees that may be incurred outside the retainer with an hourly, hourly rate provided. Upon such bids being submitted to the town, they will be shared with all board members Interviews will be conducted with all board members and thereafter lead to a selection of a town attorney. And that's in the form of a motion. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? No. Ms. Zimbrano? No. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyke? No. The motion is defeated. May we move on? Yes. <laughs> 